What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be drawing Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. You know that really kind nature demon ninja from that beloved nice game that absolutely no one had a problem with when it first came out. Except for maybe all parents. I'm going to be using a pencil, micron pen, and Copic markers. For the pencil, it's just uh, your normal uh, mechanical pencil that's, you know, available everywhere. I'd prefer using something a little bit lighter, like a 4H or something, but it doesn't really show up on the camera well. So, using mechanical pencil, micron pen, size 03, just for starters, and then I'll lay some really heavy inks over it with a brush pen afterwards. You know, I've always loved Mortal Kombat because back in the old days, the pre-internet days, me and my friends, we always used to have uh, these parties where we play these fighting games all the time, and it, no matter how simple the game was, it was always a, a blast just <laughs> beating each other up, trying to learn the special moves, trying to do the controls while other people are beating you up, and you always get into arguments. I just had a lot of fun with it. Just reminds me of those 90s days when the internet wasn't really as easy to get a hold of now and you couldn't look up all the codes for the characters. You actually had to go to the store and buy a magazine to be able to do some of these special moves. It just made it a lot more challenging and a lot more fun. You could spend a lot more time on it. Plus, back in those days without cell phones, you really just had to go over to your friend's house and see if they were home too. It was, it was another fun, challenging thing about those parties. So you can see a little bit here on the arm, I started real heavy, dark inking, and then I went back to the small micron pen just thinking, I better lay some more shapes out before I start with the heavy stuff. This image I didn't create, it's uh, just something I found on Google Images and I thought was super cool. It's probably from one of the newer versions of Mortal Kombat, but I haven't played that one so I don't really know for sure. But it is pretty awesome and I wanted to draw it, see if I could draw it. Now I'm starting to use the, the brush pen a little bit, it's starting to get a little bit darker. How many of you guys were into Mortal Kombat when you were younger or currently still are into Mortal Kombat? Let me know in the comments. Who's your favorite character? Who did you always play as? Or did you rather play some other kind of not as violent game? <laughs> Okay, here's where the bravery test comes in again. The light from the fire in his hand is going to make all the rest of the gauntlet in hand pretty much completely in the uh, dark. So I took a few stabs at it with different textures with a smaller pen, but I realized that it would look much cooler if it was just like completely blacked out. So take the uh, brush and pen combination and just make it as dark as possible with one little highlight going down the whole thing. And then you just take the brush pen and kind of add some more textures in, shadows underneath the arm and folds in the clothing and things like that, just to give it a little bit more detail and a little bit more um, going on, basically. It's at this point that I really think I should stop in a lot of cases because I really like how I ink stuff usually, but then when I start coloring it, that is always really challenging. I know that I use Copic markers a lot and I'm getting more and more practice and a lot of the results are actually pretty good, but I just think that the, the black and white image without color is so so much more satisfying to me than my coloring. It's maybe like, I don't know, five out of 10 colored drawings I think came out okay. 
But uh, same thing as the pen, lighter to darker. That's how I'm doing the color too. So start with the lightest colors that I'm going to use, like the yellows and the skin tone colors, and then go over them with something darker, like gray, or dark brown, or whatever. And keep on adding layer after layer until it gets right. If, if you go straight with some really dark color, you can't change it, so you're pretty much committed to it at that point. Remember, you always got to think about that light source. Right now, he's holding fire in his hand, so on the hood, he's going to have a lighted area right next to it. And some of the mask and some of the glove is going to be straight yellow. It's not going to be any kind of different color. And the black area of the hood is going to be darker on the opposite side of the fire. Last step is to add the fire. Probably should have taken my time a little bit more on this, but I was just a little bit too excited from all the other stuff I just did, and I think it still came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, I do like the way that this ended with the colors, but I did like the black and white a lot. I guess it's just messed up. Let me know what you guys thought of this drawing and if I should do another Mortal Kombat character, if I should do any other kind of character, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. See you next time.